Well, I mean, I, 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 I propose we just turn the Q&A into a, an open discussion, actually. Does it work? Excellent. All right. Questions, comments, thoughts, input. In general, it's good to see you're making yourself more visible in the ecosystem. I've heard that for a long time. <laughs> I, I think we'll need to use the microphone for the value of the stream. Microphone is coming. Dum, 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 dum. Tap, tap. Yeah, all right. So let's not stand in front of the speaker because that will entice interesting surround effect. Now, my, my comment actually is that uh, being one of the people who organized last year's Caleb Summit, first of all, I'm very happy uh, to see you guys putting this off uh, this year, so thanks for that. And also, I think it's a good thing to be more visible as you're doing with the Caleb Tasters and in the uh, Open Power Foundation. Um, and it's also a very targeted visibility, I, I guess. So you're profiling yourself as a full stack technology partner, not just the group of niche uh, you're fulfilling. And in that aspect, since you're currently also looking at the hardware side and developing the software side yourself, what are your insights on other open source platforms you might want to uh, connect to in the future? I mean, you've done a lot of work on Roundcube, done a lot of work with the KDE community. You're currently also doing a lot of stuff yourself, with you are on Cube and some other stuff. Where do you see that going? Do you see more collaboration there? Well, I mean, we, we as you know, oh, now we're, it's getting interesting. Yeah. The audio engineer. Um, so, uh, yes, thank you for the comments and the questions. And indeed, um, we've deliberately started to work more professionally um, also in the way we position ourselves and, of course, communicate. And that's a good thing. Um, because while geeks may not be overly uh, enthused always by, by design, um, although personally, to be honest, I always was, um, but um, it is the only way that you can ever really reach a large audience um, by doing this professional. I mean, that level also must be professional, and we had the huge um, fortunate uh, situation that we could win Giles over to do our creative director. In fact, uh, I remember that Giles approached me at the last Colab Summit in The Hague with the thought of maybe doing this full-time for us, um, so it's like summit to summit improvement in a way. Um, and of course, we were ecstatic to have him with us because his work is all over the taster format. It's all of our, our corporate design. It's in the way um, that you see our visuals now, our materials for partners develop. All of that is his work, right? I mean, he's, he is the, the person leading that. And um, given that he was managing director of a creative um, digital agency in London that he had co-founded and was running, that was very successful, one of the celebrated agencies in London, in fact, um, and decided to leave that behind to join Colab and push the Colab story with us. For me, that was an incredibly uh, moving moment, actually. I mean, I, I was humbled, to be honest. Um, on the technical side, of course, we will continue to work with others. I mean, we work with, um, with LibreOffice um, now a lot. There's a couple of others I am sure we will work with, although um, on the technical side, I mean, Aaron's the guy who makes that call, right, together with Jeroen. Um, these two guys, when they put their heads together, magic things happen. Um, I get informed of the results. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, the, the only way we actually do this is by engaging with upstream, by doing it in a collaboration. Um, for us, upstream is always king. If it's not going into the upstream, it's a liability. Um, simple as that. Um, so we want the upstreams. I mean, we're working very, very hard to convince the upstreams. In fact, if you follow 
how Cube has come about. We were working extremely hard over a long period of time to show these are the shortcomings we need to address to help people understand why certain approaches were not sustainable if you want to run this in a professional environment, why certain things had to be addressed. We gave presentations about that. We had long meetings about that. I mean, there were multiple meetings of the KDE PIM community through which we actually communicated all of this. And then we ultimately said, all right, this is the way it needs to go and we'll, we'll do it now. Please, everyone who wants to join, join in. But we always try to do things in the most inclusive way possible. We take a lot of extra effort and work often to do it the right way. Because for us, the goal needs to be that the entire community gets stronger. We cannot fragment our community. Splitting away very often seems like the easiest solution, right? Forking, a lot of people think, oh, let's fork this, you know? Um, I don't like how this goes, let, let, let's fork it. Uh, and sometimes that may be necessary. There may be moments when there is no other alternative. But um, at the same time, of course, fragmentation also has a cost. So we try to reduce the fragmentation to not just you know, create yet another branch on something, but work with the community, make it upstream. Um, and then you know, build a stronger community as the result. So yes, that's very much an attitude you will see from us in the future as well. Aaron, anything you want to add, Jeroen? Go for it. Yeah. So uh, a part of what we do now is, is be the glue between a lot of components. This makes us currently maintain stuff and write stuff in seven languages, Aaron? Seven languages. This is overly cumbersome. I speak most of them. Uh, and sometimes the work in C on something that is Cyrus IMAP uh, to need to happen to resolve actual issues is just quite costly. It uh, doesn't allow me to, uh, to learn and experience C at a pace that actually makes me a proper good C developer. And the same goes for Python, and we have Erlang, and we have PHP, and we have C++, uh, and so it becomes overly difficult. Part of what you'll be seeing online uh, will shift that uh, to, uh, we have, we have uh, set Elixir, um, Phoenix and Elixir um, as, a, as a web development framework as the standard to start prototyping in things. So you'll see a bunch of those prototypes, maybe, the, maybe uh, screencasts, or what we otherwise do in agile development uh, retrospectives. These are weekly occurrences. If we think we have something that is sufficiently visually appealing and not embarrassing, uh, we'll post that online. Uh, the source code will be online, so you could, uh, you could look it up yourself and, and laugh at us. Um, but a lot of prototyping, so new ideas that we can whip up something for in two to four hours maybe. Uh, and then decide whether or not that's indeed what we want and what we would like to see and how it should work. And then let the rinse repeat. Do it again. Get a different ID. Prototype that. So. Yep. Thank you. And by the way, just to point it out, git.colab.org is where you want to have a look. Um, that is where we go for our own sprint planning, developments, and so on and so forth. Um, so, I mean... And it's an open system, right? So everyone is welcome to make an account there and get active. You can be part of this with zero burden. I mean, and you're going to be working in the exact same system as us. There's no second system, right? We're not having a secret internal system where we also do this. No, no. That's the system. I think if I stand here, it starts singing. Me. Who's next? Hello, this is my Hello. chance. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to ask, can Junior um, collaborate or help uh, to Collab Summit by having a few skills? <laughs> well, I'm asking the level of knowledge. Can be at Junior level or? Uh, oh yeah, I mean, we, we have use for people at every level. I mean, 
we generally follow a culture of giving people things to tackle um, that they feel that they can tackle. And then if we see that they need help, we help them. But um, often people are also capable of doing more than they think they are. So we try to work with people at all levels, right? And yes, a senior person might be able you know, to do certain tasks a lot faster or better, but there's always things that, you know, even at junior level you could do. In fact, I believe we need a lot more junior people to get involved because um, I mean, junior people will turn to senior people at some point. Um, and so we have plenty of things that can get done. Um, so you are very much encouraged to get involved. Thanks. And I mean, just, you know, hit the mailing list or the IRC channel or whatever, just, you know, approach us. I mean, we are generally pretty approachable, um, I, I hope. Um, I mean, most of us tend to be usually quite friendly. I, I haven't seen anyone bite anyone else yet, so. Um, yes, I am. Well, I mean, he, he's Dutch, you gotta forgive him. He's, he's blunt, but he means well. Um, I mean, with him, you never have a, have a doubt of what he's actually thinking, which has its own merit. Um, but uh, once you get to know him, he's actually a very sweet character. He just hides it very well. <laughs> All right. Who else? Any more comments? Any more thoughts? Sorry, what? An artistic moment. An artistic moment. Well, that, that'd be Aaron's uh, thing. A Aaron went out to Nuremberg last night to do karaoke, so. Um... I, actually, Peter, you went with him, so. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, I mean, one of the organizational principles from day one has been to actually have fun. Because, I mean, while we want to save the world, you know, we don't want to end up as sour, bitter people at the end of it. So, you know, we need to somehow also have a little bit of fun. Therefore, um, it's a, I hope at least it's an interesting place to work. So, Anyway, and by the way, we are always looking for people who also want to work full-time for us or part-time, right? I mean, don't hesitate to send us your CV. Apply, please, because we're constantly on the lookout for people. And um, especially good people, of course, are always sought by anyone. We realize that. But um, we have a pretty cool team. I mean, working with the likes of you know, Aaron and Jeroen um, has its merits. They, they have a lot of insight to share. And um, even people who joined us as junior developers, such as Christian, um, have uh, meanwhile taken on a lot of responsibility, including even management responsibilities by now. Um, so we, are, we believe in people and we believe in actually allowing people to grow and helping them to grow into new roles. I mean, Lisha. She's been joining us, you know, in, in the Colab Now support realm um, and is now, you know, starting to organize the support as well as help us with the conference organization. I mean, the Colab Summit here was, to a very large extent, her work. So thank you very much for that, Leisha. So yes, we want people to grow. Um, and if you want to grow with us, Apply, please. I think that concludes it. Lisha is giving me the almighty nod of conclusion, so. Oh, it's fine. I mean, we. Yeah, that again. It's always the same thing. 
I know. All right. In that case, thank you all very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Hang around. Cheer for Switzerland. Except the, except the ones from Poland. They are, they are excused. So, we forgive you, Alec. Ah, yes, yes, yes. And if you still want one of those Zig bottles, um, we will at some point, I mean, these beautiful red ones, right? Um, sign up on conference. Uh, call, uh, summit call of org um, and um, get your red bottle because we will otherwise be uh, uh, taking them back with us. Um, so uh, make sure that we have very little to load, please. All right. Thank you very much.